Evening. I'm your captain, Matthew Cox. Oh, hi, hi, captain. I'm Linda Carter, landlady of the Queen Victoria. I spoke to your husband on the phone, Nick. Oh, him. I'm free and single, so you play your cards right, Cappy, and you never know. Right, well, welcome aboard the Smith Island. Wait, hold up! You cut it close. Could everybody please remain calm and move towards the top deck? There will be life rafts available which we will be evacuating from. Members of my crew will be on hand to assist you. Thank you. So how bad is it? It's just a precaution. There is some intake on the lower deck, but we'll be fine. My brother, I can't find my brother. You need to get on the line. No, I'm not getting on without Mick. Oi, what are you really doing? And we've been through this a million times, Ronnie. It's like Pete says, and he knows the business side of things better than I do. I just want to play myself. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's like the fucking career's all over again. Passing the buck to Pete. Fuck off, you know the score. Yeah, I know it according to what you say. You got a good deal at Fontana. You had TV, BBC, the lot. Times have changed. It's not there anymore. It's true, Tubby. You know what your trouble is, don't you? You've never fucking moved on. The world doesn't revolve around you. This ain't 1961. Tubby! Oh, go fuck yourself! It's a difficult situation because nine times out of ten, a doctor will always want to perform the gender realignment. We're only human after all. Did your friend explain that the procedure can be costly? I've looked into it before. Look, how soon can I have the operation? Well, actually, you're in luck. I've had a cancellation this week. But I really don't want to rush you. No, 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 no. I'm ready. Excellent. And why don't you go home, pack a few essentials for a couple of days, and pop back later this afternoon? Perhaps I have more faith than you. Then give me some positive news. What a Luke. He needs more time, but he remembers more as each day passes. But if they succeed, do you really believe that the survivors will learn from their past mistakes? I believe so. Really? Well, good luck with that. I could easily get seven, eight hundred pounds for this, but I'm going to have to settle for a measly monkey on it. I've got no choice. Well, we must not become greedy, buddy. Just get on Spotify, it's free. You know, there's more to life than money. Think of um, true friendship. Oh, yeah? yeah? What about that 300 quid you still owe me? <laughs> Look at us all changing. I've stopped snoring, you've stopped drinking coffee. Apparently it's not good for you. Say to people. Maybe you'd like to come and see my show tonight. <laughs>